Something terrible happened last night. Well, I slept very well. Excuse me, Moo Moo, but we're talking about me, not you. Sorry, Rita, but since we're always talking about you, I thought that for once I could be the center of attention and we could talk about me. The two of you need to stop talking about yourselves for a change. It's always me this or me that. It's time you learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry, Alfred, but it's because I think that I'm important and because of that I and only I... Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, anyway... Enough about me. What do you think of me? You'll never learn. I think I'll go for a walk. I can't stand any more of this. Good morning, Mr. Snail. Where are you going? Good morning. I'm on my way to the lake to look for some water. But the lake is far away. Do you have to travel that far every day? Yes, every day. I go back and forth to the lake. It takes a long time to get there and even longer to come back because I come home carrying water for my family. It's what I do all day. Go back and forth, same thing every day. So why don't you move your house closer to the lake? I'd love that, but my house is so big I can't move it. I can only move the little house that I always carry on Hello, my back. Hello, Mr. Snail. My name is Rita, and my friend Moo Moo and I are going to help you. Me? I mean, I... I can't because I have to... Don't worry, Mr. Snail. You'll see that we are going to help you. It's just a minor detail, Rita. And here I was thinking that you only thought about yourselves. Alfred, we are going to show you that we're really nice and that we don't only think about ourselves. We also really like helping others. Yeah, that's right. We help everyone. Rita... Who needs our help? Mumu, Mr. Snail has an injured crawler and has to go to the hospital so that they can give him six shots. Huh? What? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Mr. Snail. It was just a joke. Let's go to your house and you'll see that everything will be just fine. Tell us where it is and we'll follow you. My house is right in the middle of a field of flowers. Let's get going. Mr. Snail, whenever you want, you can start moving. I've already been moving for a while. Rita, aren't we moving too slowly? At this rate, we won't even get there by tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? This snail is moving slower than a sleeping turtle. Mr. Snail, why don't you climb up onto my ear so we can move along a little faster? Sounds good to me, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of speed. Here we are. This is my home. Welcome. It's very pretty. Where's your family? My family is visiting their grandparents. They'll be back next week. They'll be so happy when they see that we've moved near the lake. So now we just have to get everything ready to go and then move the house to the lake. I'll put myself here in the middle, and you all decide what's the best way to take me. I'm not sure how we can do it. It seems easy, but we have to do it very carefully. Why don't we just put the house on top of a log, and Rita and I will carry it. What a great idea! Rita, you take that log on the ground. Moo Moo, you put the house on it. Now all you have to do is pick it up and we can go! Hey, Mr. Snail! Is everything okay? Everything's perfect, thank you! From up here, I have a great view, and I love the speed. Don't worry. You're going to see how soon you'll be in your new home. Here we are. Now, you have to decide where you want us to put your house. Some place that's near the water, but well protected. Let's see. A special place with a nice view and well protected. We could put it right behind that rock. 
That looks good to me. Uh. Thank you for everything. Rita, I'm so tired. I want you to carry me home. But Moo Moo, today we did such a good deed for Mr. Snail. Not exactly. You helped out Mr. Snail, but I helped you out. So get ready, my friend, to carry me home on your back. I don't think so. All right, Moo Moo, I'll carry you, but you'll have to make a big jump to get on. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right now, one, two, three. Ah! Ow! Oh, you two, some things never change. <laughs> You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm gonna go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how can you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good-looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it! it. I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us will hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. 
That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly. I'm handsome, I'm handsome. This can't be happening to me. All of a sudden I'm ugly. I must be hallucinating. No! That was great. Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talalo is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, I'm going to go to the beach and go get some sun and go swimming. I haven't gone to the beach in years. How long have you been afraid of water? You're kidding, Talalo. I would have never guessed that you were afraid of anything, much less of water. Don't worry. You won't have to swim here. We'd better go back home now because it looks like there's a storm heading this way. Yes, let's go inside because it's supposed to rain today. Oh! Look how hard it's raining! I really love rain! So do I! It can rain for days and days! I love it! Let's take a walk around the terrace. Momo, you'd better come inside because it's raining real hard and you're going to get struck by lightning. Nothing can happen to me. The rain is my friend. It's my friend too. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Ooh. Oh, that lightning came really close, didn't it, Moo Moo? It was way too close. I think it'd be better if we went inside. I'll go first!
Wake up, everybody! Wake up! You're not going to believe what happened! Water! There's water everywhere! It's incredible! <laughs> Moo Moo, what have you done? Hey, I didn't do anything. Of course it wasn't Moo Moo. It was the rain. It rained all night long, and now look what has happened. Everything is underwater. So that means technically we are now an island. We are now Vida Island. Forget about that. We are now Habits Island. Yeah, that's it, Habits Island. Who wants to go swimming with me? I'll go in with you. I'm going swimming too. Now it's my turn. But I'm diving in from the roof as if it were a diving board. Hey, wait for me. It's impossible, Talalo. There are no sharks in here. A shark? There aren't any sharks here, Talalo. I'm swimming as fast as I can! We're all safe now! For a moment, I thought he was going to gobble me up in one bite! That was really scary! It's a surfboard! Now what do we do? Well... <laughs> <laughs>